Hey guys, welcome back. In the last video, we learned about the various methods of creating points. The objective of this video are understand the use of the line into the design and learn how to create a line by using the various methods. The line is the one of the basic reference elements which can be used as a profile, direction, etc. To understand this, let's refer this example. I want to construct a surface by using the two lines. I can use extrude command to create that surface. One line is used as a profile to create an extrude and another line is used to define a direction along which the profile can be extruded. There is one more important use of the line. If you are designing an injection molding plastic part or a stamped sheet metal part, tooling draw direction is very important and that can be defined and represented by using the line. In Katia, you can create a line by using the six different methods. Let's see the method one. If you have a two points or two vertices, you can create a line passing through these two points or vertices. Select a line command and select the line type point to point. Then select first point and select the second point. The line is created passing through these two lines. Here we have the four different line types. The length one is default by using you can create definite length of the line. The second one is the infinite start point. So if I click that, you can see the start point is infinite, but end point is definite. The next option is infinite. So I'll get the infinite line on the both side. The last option is the infinite endpoint. So if I select that, the start point is become definite and endpoint is infinite. So most of the time we are using this length that is the default option. And we can define here the start point and end point by defining this start and end windows. Suppose I want to start this line at 100 millimeter before this first selected point. So I'll put here 100. And I want to end this line at 50 millimeter after the second selected point. So I'll put here 50. Now you can see the line is get started at 100 millimeter before this first selected point and ended at 50 millimeter after this second selected point. Suppose if you want the 50 millimeter on the both side, then here we have one option mirrored extend. You can check that box and now the first start window is now disabled. Uh, also up to limit is disabled and now we can get the 50 millimeter on the both side of the selected points. The next option here is up to elements. So up to elements can be a surface or plane. So here I'll remove this mirror extent and here in the first up to first window, I'll select the surface. Now you can see the line is get extended up to this surface. In the second up to option or window, I'll select the plane and now you can see this second end of this line is extended up to the plane once you get the required result you can click on ok now i'm going to create one more line passing to the two vertices so click on the line command keep the line type point to point now select the first vertex select the second vertex here the end point should be zero now you can see the line is connected the point one and point two linearly. Sometimes there is a requirement. This line should be projected on the support. So in this window, you can find here the support window. Now it's currently default. If you want this line should be lying on that particular support, then you can select the surface as a support. Then click OK. Now you can use this line as a curve. Now let's see the method two. You can create a line along the specific direction at a given point. So click on the line command, select the line type, point and direction. Then select first point and here select the direction. 
this direction should be a line element or a plane element so i can select a plane element as this direction i can also select the line as a direction or suppose you want uh, xyz as a standard directions so you can right click here and you can select here xyz components so now the line is created at the specific point into the specific direction now here you can control the end point and start point by just putting the value into this end point and the start point window or you can control that by using up to elements and click ok and now i got aligned into the specific direction let's see the method three you can create a line at a specific angle with respect to the given curve and given point here i have a point and a line i want to create a line at a 45 degree with respect to this curve now select the line command then select the line type angle or normal to the curve now select the curve and select the point now here you have to also select the support once you select the support the line is created at a 45 degree at the downward side now you can also change the direction of this line click on the reverse button and it creates the line on this opposite direction now i want a line on this side so i'll change the direction here and i'll put here minus 45 so i'll get a line on the top side if you want a line perpendicular to this curve then you have a button here click on this normal to curve button and it will create a line normal to that particular curve if you want on the top side you can just change the direction the reverse and you can get the normal to the curve on the other side once you get the desired result you can click ok now i want to create one more line at a specific angle with respect to this curve so click on this line command keep this line type angle or normal to the curve then select the curve select the point and support instead of selecting this plane i can select here surface so even though if i select the surface this line is not lying on that surface it considers the tangent plane on that particular point and it creates a line on that tangent plane i can now change the angle of this by using the arrow on this graphical window now here we have one new option geometry on the support here if i click ok now you can see this line is projecting on that particular surface if i uncheck this you can get a straight linear line so click on that and now you can get a curvy line on that particular surface click ok and now this is your resultant line now let's see the method four you can create a line tangent to the specific curve at a given point select the line command and keep this line type as a tangent to curve now select the curve then select the point the second element should be point when the tangent option is the monotangent you can control the length of this line by using this end point and star point or you can also change the direction by using this button once you get the required result you can click ok again i'll create a one more tangent line click on this line command i'll keep this tangent to the curve but in this type i'll keep here by tangent now select this curve now select the second curve as this circle now here it is suggesting like three different options or three different solutions i can switch between the solution by using this button or you can select directly from this graphical window i want to keep this third option then select that and then click ok now the tangent is created between this curve and this circle now let's see the method 5 you can create a line perpendicular to the surface at a given point so click on this line command click the line type normal to the surface then select the surface on which you want to create a line then select a point where you want to create the line then you can control the length of the line by using these arrows or by using this up to elements you can change the direction by using this reverse direction button if you get the required result you can click ok i'll create 
uh, one more line normal to this surface so select the line command select the surface or instead of selecting any vertex or point on this particular surface i'll select this vertex of this line now even though this line on the vertex is not lying exactly on that surface you can create a line normal to that particular surface at the given point so it is not necessary the point should be lie on that surface once you get the required result or desired result you can click ok now we'll see the method 6 click on the line command and we can create a bisecting line so select this line type as the bisecting select the first line and select the second line now once you select the line you can see here the two options are available one is the line one and line two you can select those solutions or options from this window or you can select this button and you can switch between these options now i want to keep this point a uh, second line and i can control the length by using this dimensions here suppose i want on the other side so i can change the direction and i'll put that into reverse direction click ok once you get the required result or desired result these are all various methods of creating lines you can use them to create a line profiles and the directions that's all for this video in the next video we are going to learn the various methods of creating plane if you like my videos please do share and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching